let's get into it. Uh, uh, Chilla, you, you brought up a really interesting story uh, this week in the rundown that uh, I'm interested in as a, as a, a former recovered glassaholic. So this is called, I'm guessing it's pronounced Aura X. It's O-R-A dash X. And they're headphones that include a flippable AR display or augmented reality. Um, they debuted as a concept piece at CES last January. Um, and it's essentially a wearable tablet. It does run Android KitKat. Um, and it's capable of running standalone apps or streaming media from an, a Bluetooth enabled device. Much like if you're obviously like your glass device. Mm. Um, so it, it to me, and I don't remember the exact specs on the glass. Um, they say it's the equivalent of looking at a 70 inch display from 15 feet away. To me, a lot of this sounds almost identical to glass. You know, and the, it, it the also primary difference being it sounds like it's running more of the full app. Mm-hmm. Um, how you're going to control it, I, I I find interesting. I don't know how maybe they're going to maybe the side of it's going to kind of work like a mouse. Um, but it. Um, pretty. It's kind of a cool concept, and I like the idea that the headphone, like it has a nice, nice headphones implemented or attached to it. Um, I don't, I don't know if it'll catch on. The the AR slide piece that comes out looks a lot. That that arm looks a lot larger. It does. I, yeah, I think that's going to kill your peripheral vision. But it, but it is interesting because they, they show her holding it like this where it's like over your eye, mm-hmm. which, to which, you know, I think it would be a little bit of a problem. But then you see like this down here when they're showing DJ applications, right? And and it's actually below his vision. And this actually reminds me of, we've seen some other concepts like this or even the guys that were on that old uh, 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 night talk on PCNC from Carnegie that, mm-hmm. that they had one from like the early nineties. That was like, you know, the idea was you could put it in any position that kind of worked for you. Uh, and I, I kind of like that idea that it could become a, uh, you know, kind of depending on what you're doing. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it makes sense to put it down here. So I have that view here as I'm looking down at something up here. So it's out of my way while I'm driving maybe, uh, which, which I thought Google glass is really good at. And, 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 and but it just, it just really didn't give you much choice beyond that. Uh, in that case, so and this is also an Indiegogo. I love how much stuff we have. Uh, <laughs> let's see, raised by sixty-three people in seven hours. So this just started out today. I I don't that part I don't know. I saw it. It came through a headline on Connectedly. Right. So it's uh, thirty-five days left, and there is a Kickstarter video here as well, so we can show off the device a little bit more with them. Uh, they they have raised uh, twenty-three thousand already. Uh, of the $150,000 goal. Uh, did, did you see... Uh, wow, and that does look... It's it's Android, dude. <laughs> it's, no, it's definitely, it's definitely Android. It's Android-powered. But it's not covered up at all. It's just like, no, nah, this is Android. Yeah. You know? And it's like it's got a little bit going on there. And uh, they, they have these wonderful uh, 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 concept videos where, you know, we had some great concept videos back with Google Glass. It just was never realized. Uh, but, but again, that, that same idea that it's like this screen that's like out in front of you right which which i thought it was google class was that and i thought they were really good at that and um but but the imitators are going to be very interesting the and what what i really like it's still going back to one of the the points i made earlier was the thing i really like about it is it runs on its own Mm -hmm. you don't have to be connected to you don't have to be connected to a phone right it's running the 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 headphones themselves are running Android. Um, so now who knows, will they get... What is this uh, San Francisco 49ers uh, all-time pro running back featured on here for some reason? <laughs> is he a backer or Maybe something? he's a backer. I guess. <laughs> like, this is what I do with my NFL money. <laughs> What's up? So I make people look goofy on the streets of San Francisco. I'm sure... You know, San Francisco, there's got to be all kinds of people like this with just goofy crap on their heads that they're testing out from Indiegogo, right? Uh, mm-hmm. There's something like that, but uh, but no, I know I, I think this is you're gonna you're I think you're gonna see several iterations like this. Um, like we I mean we're seeing those even when when glass first started coming out, right? Uh, there were the glasses versions, you know, and, and everything. And I think uh, you're gonna see this iterate iterate until uh, you get your uh, Apple Glass comes out eventually. 
<laughs> or or Google Glass uh, 5.0 because we didn't hear about all the other ones. And uh, it, I don't know. It, it's 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 coming. Like I to, think we're going to have these. But to me, this is the precursor to the Hololens. I love how we went bigger though, didn't we? With this thing, with this this thing. So this thing's bigger than glass, right? And if you mm-hmm. look at the Hololens. The hollow lens is right now like this wrap around. Well, it's almost like what we were looking at with the Oculus Gear VR. Yeah. But the difference being is this is augmented reality. And I think that's the true future to virtual reality. I think they're right. I think there's going to be a certain segment of the population that enjoys the lose your sense of being in a physical space and jump into virtual reality mm-hmm. versus I really think there's go- the masses or the, the AR or the augmented reality is what's really going to appeal to the masses. Mm-hmm. I, I was listening to, I can't remember what podcast it was, but they were talking about using the gear VR and some of the videos and how it completely distorts your spatial relationships and it does mess a little more with with your emotion and your mind right right because um, you're, you're accepting of everything happening around you yeah so whereas this is kind of an overlay of information or if i want to play with legos or or what some kind of augmented reality minecraft um, i can do that but i it's sitting on your table over there mm-hmm. it's not something that I can't see everything in the room. And that's, that's still something that I've been playing. I've been still playing with the, with the, the gear VR, but putting me in that setting where I have to sit in a chair and make sure that nothing is around me. So when I swivel around, there's room for me. It's, it's just a different, different, definitely different atmosphere. You can still get the early bird on this for $350 plus shipping, uh, expected in May, 2016. And uh, you can get up to uh, let's see. I think it's I think five hundred dollars is going to be your general cost for this thing. Still over half the price. Yeah, it's still less, like less about about a no. That is a third <laughs> of what you would have paid for Google Glass. So what I did pay for Google Glass, and man, do I have this Pebble Watch to show for it. <laughs> oh yeah, this in this iPad three, and which I do get a lot of use out of still so it worked out really well for me so and, you, and of course you're getting use out of the glass as mm-hmm. well so 